Hi guys, I'm the Arcana Angel and I am here with you guys today. Stepping into the universal energies of air, fire, water, and earth. Getting a little grounded. How y'all doing? I'm well. I'm grateful. Yeah, but um, I've been in an energy. I don't know how y'all been feeling out there. Drop me a comment and let me know how your energy um have been feeling. Mine's been a little bit um like it's time for a nap or something. The hair on my oh that wasn't a hair. That was the um that was is it hair? Oh, it was a hair. It was a hair. I've been feeling a little nap. Yesterday I was in the bed. I'm in the south, y'all. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you like and comment. But um, baby, I went to bed at eight thirty last night. Eight actually it was eight thirty-three, and uh, I looked up the uh, meaning of the eight and the thirty-three. And the 8th is, you know, having uh, self-confidence. And the 33 is spiritual enlightenment. And I don't know if you checked out that um, medication, meditation, and elevation reading. It was about getting in tune with your dreams. Have you been having dreams? Have you um, been writing them down like I told you in that video? And um, really seeing who wants to show up. In, in life so I don't know who this video is for so we're gonna go to the spirit deck so the spirit said do another reading and I'm gonna do another reading and if this many cards fall out again I know it's gonna be another collective reading <laughs> but I know y'all I don't know if y'all like those or not but um, with the collective meetings, uh, make sure you go and check out the This Is For Everybody um, playlist because those are the collective readings. And that's just information that we as a collective, as co that are conscious and aware of our enlightenment, um, we should go and check them out. Iron sharpens iron. Um, but we got a truthful, uh, powerful realization here. We got the Tower card, Aries. I was just talking about that uh, spiritual enlightenment when I went to bed last night. And definitely the uh, seven is about the collective conscious. So let's see what uh, messages spirit have for you, Aries. Because you was called out. Called out by spirit. Powerful realization. There's that tower, the unexpected. Maybe it's something about yourself that you have to realize that you have to change yeah so you got self-reflection with the unexpected maybe you wasn't like did you just hear me say pay attention to those dreams to see how we really want to um show up right and you see her in the mirror and in the that's another that's like a alternative a alter alternate world Paragraph, something, you know, paradigm. I told y'all I'm country and I'm hood and yeah, I didn't been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces. But um change and purity is in the earth. Something that's gonna be uh cleansing and, and and bright. And that is the snow moon. That's look maybe around the end, maybe about the thirtieth of this month. Between the yeah. I think between the 30th of this month, you got 7-7, seven, 7-7, seven, seven, seven. you got 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, so um, expect, expect some movement, definitely. Expect some progress in the situation. I know it's been a burden, but you, you're resilient. You can overcome anything. You know what I'm saying? The angels are definitely with you. Spirit is definitely talking to you. It's time for a change. I think your future depends on it. I think the growth of you as a person, I think it depends on it. 
This is for Aries. Yeah. Recognize your true beauty. Like I said, what are you really showing up for? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. You got resistance. So you resisting something. Something that's holding you back, Aries. From this change. That's going to um, bring you this unexpected a realization something um unexpected is coming within the month period within the month or within the first week of the year it really could be within the next 10 days 7 to 10 days within the next week you might uh, experience this change. You might have to download. If you get on it. If you pay attention. Um, that's the only thing I can say. You know. The sooner that uh, we get enlightened. The sooner that we come into realization. Of hey man. It's just too much to bear. That's when we can let go. Open up and make some changes. Within ourselves. So let's get a little energy. Let's see who we talking about. Spirit. This is for Aries. But let's see who who are we talking about? Fresh Chakra. I told you the angels was with you. You got a happy family. So this is a, a family situation. A family situation, Aries. I told you this definitely um will have something to um change your whole life. Yeah, but you gotta pay attention to your base chakra. Let's go. Offer the door to romance and the door to spirit. But you're not showing up yourself. You're being deceitful. And like I said, who is this? Who is this for? It's for you, Aries. Somebody that know they're not living up to what they're supposed to be in this household situation. That's why purity came out. Yeah, man holding the coin strategy. Yeah, you trying to figure it out, though. You trying to figure it out, but I knew I was talking about you. Seven, seven, collective. Con I'm telling you. When at all costs, I told you it's a storm coming. You better be on the uh, lookout. It's a storm coming. A powerful realization that's about to change your your world. So you better start um, praying, meditating, uh, whatever you do to bring you to a collective conscious to give you the clarity. That you need so that you can win the change. I think this is the clarity that you need. There is something that you need to clean up. Yes, the value. Those are um morals. <laughs> what do you value in life? Look, you thinking about it though. I told you, Aries, you definitely thinking about it. I wanted to know who this reading was for. Definitely a Aries a man. Yeah. Definitely on the journey. This is an Aries man that's been thinking, been reflecting. This is uh, somebody that um, have already been doing the balance work in the relation in the household. This is the wife, the woman holding the coin, the yin to the yang. Can't make this up. And the yang came out of the divine masculine. The divine masculine. Um, go and watch that. Um, what is she thinking? Reading. I think you find that very interesting. Yes, definitely. You got appreciation. You might need to show your appreciation on this journey. You've been through a lot. That's why it's time to change. You can't stay on the journey. You cannot stay the same way. You just can't. Things have to change. People have to come in. People have to move out. Things have to come in. Things have to move out. Let's see. Caring connections, but it is a caring connection that you do want. But the deceit is in the background, so I'm pretty sure it's you, Aries. I'm pretty sure it's you that's not showing up to be what you're supposed to be. Six Chakra, Archangel, Metatron. Yeah, it's time to use your intuition and spirit. I told you. You got to get back to that collective conscious. Start thinking, what do God really want from me? What 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 do I really need to do? Well, first of all, you need to maybe go back over your values and morals list. Get back on the path if you got off of it. Appreciate what you have. Yeah, you was being indecisive 
about your um, life and the cycle is ending to that. The world card then came out again, period. Aries, it's time for you to truly decide what you want. Truly decide what's going to bring you joy and what you want to come into union with. Truly decide if you're going to stay on the spiritual journey and be enlightened. Truly decide if you're going to go ahead and make the right decision. Because I told you, it's definitely going to affect, affect your whole lifestyle. Look, financial constraints. Yeah, outside of, it's probably already uh, affecting it. And you don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? But there's that balance again. Door to personal healing and happiness. In abundance. <laughs> Can't beat that out. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you um, hit the bell so you get your intuitive messages. Because you surely don't want to miss um, anything that's raining like this. You right at the door. Right at the door. I'm talking about within, like I said, seven days. The rest of this month. Within the month. New Year. First week of the New Year. A change is going to come. All right, Aries, subscribe, hit the bell. See you on the next video. Let me know how it resonated with you. Namaste.